we're talking fundamental base running. Freddie Freeman is not a fast man. Sure, you watch him run and say, well, his legs aren't moving fast, but he has big strides, and that's true, but that doesn't change the fact that he's been well below league average in sprint speed every year since StatCast existed. But he's still a great base runner, and what do you need to be a great base runner if you don't necessarily have the legs? <laughs> You need the brain. We're talking gritty, high IQ base running. Because Freddie Freeman, of all people, has stolen 36 bases to only four caught stealings over the past two seasons. Only 32 players in the league have stolen more bases than that across that time frame. Across that time frame, he's also third in terms of efficiency among players with at least 40 stolen base attempts. He's successful 90% of the time, trailing only Corbin Carroll and Trey Turner. Here are some fast players who haven't stolen as many bases as Freddie Freeman since 2022. Shohei Otani, Ahmed Rosario, Luis Robert, and Lane Thomas. I'm sure the scouting reports say not to underestimate his base stealing prowess, but there's a difference between theory and practice, and a good example of this is going to be Jeremy Pena. He's objectively a much faster runner than Freeman, but worse base stealer in the sense that he has 12 fewer steals and 7 more caught stealings. Yet, over the last two seasons, pitchers attempt pickoff moves twice as often versus Pena than Freeman. Theoretically, Pena should be more of a threat, but Freeman is sneaky. The film shows Freeman taking off for second again and again and again. A lot of these plays aren't even all that close. He continues to make teams pay for not respecting his skills as a base stealer. We're talking lunch pail guy slash union man base running. Apart from the obvious analysis of he times up the pitcher and gets a big jump to make up for his lack of speed, he also has excellent pitch selection skills. Because half of his attempts have come on pitches located in the bottom third of the zone or lower, and more than half of his attempts have come on pitches below 90 miles per hour. The high fastball is the easiest pitch for a catcher to nab a would-be base stealer on. It crosses the plate quickly and allows the catcher to get out of his crouch a little bit sooner before delivering the throw. But Freddy uses his skills as a hitter on the base pass to determine what pitches to run on. We're talking family values base running. The kind of base running you'd want to bring home to mom and dad. He certainly took advantage of the new rules to encourage the run game last year, swiping a career-high 23 bags at the age of 33. The only savvy veterans age 33 or older who stole more bases than Freddie Freeman were Starling Marte and Whit Merrifield. Those two are established base stealers with multiple 40 stolen base seasons in their past. They aren't setting career highs in their 30s, but Freddie Freeman sure is. Thank you to Stathead for that one, CodeFoolish20 at checkout for 20% off. Great time to buy with it being the new year and all. And while we're Statheading, it's good to remember that Freddy generates plenty of stolen base opportunities for himself simply by playing every day and getting on base frequently. Over the last two seasons, he leads the league in reaching base safely. 31 more times than Juan Soto, who's second place. 76 more times than Paul Goldschmidt, who's third place. With 410 base hits in that time frame, he's a hit machine, but he also walks a lot more than other players that would be labeled hit machines. He's Freddie Freeman. He's pretty great. But that greatness on the base paths is hardly constrained to just stealing bases. My favorite base running statistic is extra base taken percentage, XBT percent for short. It tells you the rate that runners advance an extra base after their teammate gets a hit. This could be going second to home, or first to third on a single, or scoring from first on a double. Now look, the top guys, Bobby Wood Jr., Corbin Carroll, Michael Harris II, you know, they're taking the extra base at a rate of over 70%, and admittedly, at just around 40%, Freddie Freeman is league average. The league average is 42%, Freddie Freeman is 40% in this regard, but... If you look at it in terms of bases taken, which are bases advanced on things like sacrifice flies or wild pitches, Freddie Freeman took the most bases in those situations in all of Major League Baseball in 2023. More than Corbin Carroll, more than Stephen Kwan, more than Ronald Acuna Jr. And considering his lack of top-end speed, those bases are a result of alertness. 
Fred Word is alert to any opportunity that might allow him to move up 90 feet. We're talking, oh, let me just scooch right past you there, bud. Base running. The base stealing efficiency, the bases taken, and the extra bases taken are all inputted into Fangraph's base running runs. Over the last two seasons, only 15 players in Major League Baseball have generated more value with their legs than Freddie Freeman. And you know what these 15 guys all have in common? They're all faster than Freddie Freeman. I mean, look at the top 10. Corbin Carroll, Bobby Witt Jr., Trey Turner, J-Ram, Acuna, Horner, Jake McCarthy, Miles Straw, J-Rod, C.J. Abrams. These guys are all fast. It all makes perfect sense, but not far behind them is Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman's been worth 10.4 base running runs over the last two seasons. That's worth about one win above replacement with his legs alone. And then if you flip the leaderboard the other way, so looking at the worst base runners over the last two seasons, you've got a couple slow plotting catchers in the top three. That makes sense. But at number two there, there's Carlos Correa, who's worth negative 15 runs over that same time frame. And according to StatCast, he's actually slightly faster than Freddie Freeman. And yet the gap in base running value between them is over 25 runs over the last two seasons. Freddie Freeman is slower than a guy with plantar fasciitis. Freddie Freeman is slower than a guy whose doctor said has the worst ankle he's ever seen. Freddie Freeman is slower than a guy who grounded into 30 double plays last year and hasn't stolen a base since 2019. And yet, Freddie Freeman's a great base runner. Another facet of Freddie Freeman's base running, he's a doubles machine. He's led MLB in doubles each of the past two seasons, including a whopping 59 in 2023, tied for the most by any player in a season since integration. And not all those doubles were of the easy stand-up variety. You're watching a few stretch doubles where he had to decide whether to settle for the single or take off for the double. In these clips, he made the right decision. Look, as you can imagine, this video was inspired by my research done on Corbin Carroll on my main channel. Again, stop saying this is my main channel. This is my secondary channel. Anyways, during that research, Freddie Freeman's name came up a lot, a lot more than you would think. He even appears on this combined leaderboard for bases advanced on sacrifices and wild pitches, plus extra bases taken on hits. If there's any player out there who deserves to be recognized for outperforming their raw speed, it's Freddie Freeman. I'd also encourage you all to check out Esteban Rivera's article about Freddie Freeman's base running from last August. I'll link it down in the description below. This isn't a subject that's flying totally under the radar. People are becoming more and more aware of Freddie Freeman's underrated greatness on the base paths. Does he look like a newborn baby giraffe when he gets up to speed? Yes, he does. Is he one of the most valuable base runners in the game? Yes, he is. We're talking Freddie Freeman base running. I will leave you with this. Although we've mostly focused on his recent seasons with the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman also went viral during spring training 2020 for a base running maneuver with the Braves. I'm of course talking about there's wind, boys. Here we go. Oh, watch this. There's wind, boys. There's wind. There's win. There's win. He's right. He's gonna He's score. Right. There's win. <laughs> <laughs> and look, he was mic'd up, he was having fun, and he ultimately was risking nothing by taking off like that with two outs, but he knew as soon as the ball came off the bat, it had a pretty good chance of reaching the outfield grass. Just another sample of his base running genius.